Okay, so let's do the same thing as first. Like, please okay. state your name and the art that you do. Okay. Um, so my name is Gabriela, but everyone calls me Gabby, and I'm a media designer, interaction designer as well, um, but my hobby is painting. Um, so I'm originally from Lithuania, and I moved here three and a half years ago uh, to do my master's degree at the University of Calgary and I love it. <laughs> so I started doing body painting actually back in 2016, so I started wow. here in Calgary. Um, and since then it's been an amazing experience. I had like over the nine models I think, like wow. ten models now. And um, now it's been a gap for, for one year, but, uh, but it's exciting. You're getting back to it. Yeah, I'm it. getting cool. back to it. Yeah. Um, so what triggered um, your interest in body painting? So that was 2016, I think it was June, um, it was summer, very like hot, like summer day and my boyfriend at the time, he was staying at my house and he went to have a nap and I thought like, oh my god, I would like to paint, you know, on his mm -hmm. back something and I was like, okay, let's do it. He was like, okay, do whatever. So he went for, to have a nap, I started painting and it was beautiful. I made that beautiful rose on his back, you know, with like silver and red. Uh, but I was using just regular acrylic painting, which oh, was like wow. really, like really, like not like appropriate for body, right? <laughs> but then I took some pictures and I was really happy. And the next day, um, I was sh I showed those photos to my roommate at the time, and she told me that she was body painting model for like oh. two years now. And then we start talking about it, and she's like, "Yeah, I have a friend who has." Uh, who's creating this festival in Sunnyside um, and they're looking for body painting artists. Do you want to be part of it? And I thought, oh, I never done this before, but I love, I love painting. Why not? She's like, yeah, you can try, you know, you can practice. There is still a couple of months. It was like, I think at the beginning of like August. And then I thought, okay, let's do it. So then, it. So then I it. kind of like painted like all of my friends, you know, I remember like <laughs> first model was Fatima. Then there was like Philip, then there was Sebastian, and then yeah. there was like, I met some random girl at the party, Monica, then we become friends, but I invited her to do body painting, that's why how we become friends. Yeah. So that is like, <laughs> I don't know, I made a lot of connections to that. Nice, cool. That's exciting. Um, so since you mentioned your models, how do you work with them? Like, how do you conceptualize what you will paint on your models? So every time is really different um, conversation with the model because when I did paintings for the festival, I had a team. I knew who were my models. I know what they want to wear because it was kind of as a costume, as a wearing as a costume um, for the festival. So then I had a team and we worked from from that concept. Um, other times when I know that I need to practice, so my canvases are kind of just helping me so I'm experimenting right um, there was once that I got paid you know to do a body painting for the Halloween party um, so as well it's so it's like the, Halloween yes yeah, it was Halloween team but I prefer to experiment and just right. go with the flow so I have like just the first thing I have a set up a palette and um, kind of the the body part where I want to paint mm -hmm. and then from there yeah, I kind of go cool um so I noticed um, you actually asked Shining um, to send you inspiration. So it seems like you're trying to incorporate your model's personality yeah. to your paint as well. So how do you do that and why? I think with my art, it's like that. I'm, I'm liking the candy store. I like this and that and that. And like I can <laughs> kind of try to combine like all of the ideas, but I know that not everyone likes that and every person is different like mm -hmm. one person likes red color other person hates red color one person likes abstract art the other ones like really like more like a, I don't know like um, more like objects and more like realistic things so I just ask because it's conversation I'm I want to be happy but I want my model to be happy and be comfortable so that's why I asked what color represents her then I asked what uh, her favorite visual pieces, like visual art pieces, so then we work from that concept, kind of. Nice. Um, do you have any inspiration, like artists or people that influence you? 
it's really hard. I kind of like a mood person, so sometimes it's music that inspires me. Right. Sometimes it's poetry, or sometimes it's just actual like visual art pieces. Mm -hmm. um, it's really hard. Like I have a few like channels on Instagram that I follow, mm -hmm. but as well. I don't know, like Klimt I like because of the goals, like I'm trying like to, uh, Gustav Klimt, like I try to incorporate, incorporate in all of my body paintings goals or silver, like metallic look. So mm -hmm. even though I'm doing like very like bright colors, but the finishing, it will be with the gold or silver. Nice. Um, and so there's something about body painting that's very temporal, like after the model washes the paint, then it's gone forever. Mm -hmm. Tell us your thought about that, your thoughts about that. I think that's why I started doing body painting. The first was that temporality of the body painting and the second that I can paint on the live canvas, like on mm -hmm. three-dimensional canvas. Um, and I love like hum like the human body and that touch that you can like in the relationship with the paint. Um, but yeah, it feels like it's very, it's just for that moment and for that person. So it's, it doesn't need to stay, you know, it kind of flows, you know, and goes back, you know, and then maybe I can do something similar on other person, but then it will be with different energy and different right. flow. So it yeah. evolves all the time. Hi, I'm Shining, and this is my first time being body painted. Cool. Um, so how did you feel about getting painted on? It felt actually pretty calming. Mm -hmm. um, I started to get sleepy. <laughs> <laughs> right. um, and... It was, yeah, it was really relaxing. It was interesting to feel her brush strokes because when she first started, it was like delicate and she was like outlining. Yeah. And then suddenly it was just like this cold brush, like big brush. Like, <laughs> I guess like, if there's like a different brush, like some brushes are more soft than others, mm -hmm. right? Well, it's, I think the bigger ones also have more water. Ah, yeah. So it just, it's colder. So right. you can feel, and then she like works faster mm -hmm. with them. And then it goes back to be like, like gentle again when she works on the details. Right. So that was interesting. Cool. Um, so since this is your first time, um, what made you choose Gabby? <laughs> she, uh, Gabby is the only body painter I know. Right. And I feel like um, from interacting with her before, just mm -hmm. not as an artist. Right. Um, I guess I feel very safe. Cool. Um, so is this kind of like stepping out of your comfort zone? Yes, for sure. <laughs> <laughs> Will you do it again? <laughs> With Gabby, yes. <laughs> okay. <laughs> cool, thank you. Yeah. That's cool. Well, thank you, Gabby, for having us and thank you for showing us your art. <laughs> yes, yeah, I'm very excited having you here and I hope you will enjoy what I'm doing. Follow me on Instagram. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll put her links down below. Yeah, so down below. Do. Yeah, so follow. All right, cool. Thanks. Yay. <laughs>